Greetings, and thank you for tuning in to today's tutorial at the J.S. Flipper Library. It is our pleasure to assist you. This tutorial will be on how to construct an annotated bibliography in APA style formatting. First, you want to set your margins to one inch for the outer perimeter. The top, the bottom, the left, and the right should all be set at one inch. For your pagination, it should be included in the header with the last name of the person who created the document. So here we see the word librarian and the pagination, the number one, because this is page one. Our font size and font size and type is Times New Roman 12 size font. Here we have the annotated bibliography, which is the title of the work and it is centered. All of our citations are done with the author's last name and in alphabetical order. So you see the first one was with a D. The next one, the next citation, the author's last name starts with an L. The next citation, the author's last name starts with an M. And then a P and then an S. So the author's last name as it appears in the citation are listed in alphabetical order starting here with the D. The citation is APA formatting which it lists the author's last name separated by a comma, first initial, period, comma, the second authors, because there is more than one author for this particular work. The author's name, last name, separated by a comma, first initial, period, comma, the Amstead or the AND symbol with the last author's name. The last author's name is separated by a comma, first initial, period, comma. Then you see after that last period for the last author's name, you will see in parentheses the date of publication for this particular work, 2009, with period separated by the title of the work, separated by a period, the title of the journal article that it is found in, and it's also separated by the number for the article, the volume and the number, separated by a period with the page numbers for the document and then where it was retrieved from. The next thing you'll see in the annotated bibliography, and once again thank you for joining this recording today. It is our pleasure to service you. The next thing you'll see in the annotated bibliography is the paragraph or the annotation describing the document and the aforementioned bibliography or work cited citation. That paragraph starts off with a half an inch indention and it is a brief description of the content within the article. So if you go down the list you see the citation followed by a brief description and every citation is followed by a brief description. To learn more about how to construct APA formatting you can tune into The Owl by Purdue the Online Writing Lab by Purdue University, and that hour by Purdue is linked to the J.S. Flipper Library's website, and you'll have further instructions and more information about how to set up your annotated bibliography or how to construct your APA style formatting. Once again, thank you for tuning in. It is our pleasure to service you here at the J.S. Flipper Library. Should you need further or future instructions to utilize the library services, log on to www.allenuniversity.edu, click on the library's webpage, and you'll see a link to request a virtual library appointment. Once again, thank you and have a wonderful day. It's our pleasure to service you.